Okay, so it's day four, video four-ish, <laughs> bear with me. Um, and again, this is gonna be another short and sweet video. I thought I would pick off where I left off. That made, that made sense, right? Um, pick up where I left off in the sense that my father had to leave hospital. He had to leave hospital really quickly. Um, there's lots of drama around that and I can't really get into the ins and outs of it. It's just not even worth it. But he moved into an EMI care home which is specifically for people with mental health issues. And he wasn't allowed out without somebody there, somebody present that's his family member. Now I live in London at this stage and I basically came up north every weekend to take him out and to do normal things. And he had deprivation of liberty across him, which is why obviously he had to, he had to go out with other people, which, you know, I understand and I also don't understand. Um, and I guess this is like, bless his heart. He is such an independent man, so independent. And it gets to the stage where there was once where he um, he escaped and left without anybody realizing he'd gone into town, the works, because he always spoke about his money. They found him at the bank, like just trying to just trying to see how much money he had in his accounts because he's quite paranoid as a person. And they brought him back. And there's been other times where he tells me he has seen other family members leave snuck in behind them and ran down the street and he said to me that the the guys have to chase him down the street now i believe him <laughs> i believe him that people have to chase him down the street bless um and you know carers shouldn't have to do that my father shouldn't have to feel like he has to escape either but what do you do in that really awkward middle bit where he won't accept he has alzheimer's and he does actually need help and he really shouldn't be left out alone you know what are you supposed to do I don't know, but it does raise the very poignant topic in the sense that deprivation of liberty, is it something that we should look at? Is there something we can do about it? Um, but yeah, bless him. Also, EMI care homes are rough. <laughs> I This was a nice one-ish, um, I want to say ish, and I won't name where it is, but there's, there's plenty of reasons why it wasn't great. But there's also plenty of reasons why it was good. But all I can say is, when it comes to picking a care home, if you have to pick a care home in the first place, be very careful. Um, go unannounced, just walk in and say, can I have a look around? I'm thinking about, you know, if you've got any spaces or waiting lists and, and ask all the right questions, but actually go and speak to people. Sit down, take five minutes to sit with people that are there and, you know, see what happens kind of thing. Um, but yeah, bless him. So our story in the sense is that he was in this EMI care home for several months and then he asked to move down south. So, you know, I moved him down south with a meagre bag of clothes and things like that and we'd sort the rest out later, but got on a train and I was panicking. I was thinking, you know, everybody's bigging it up, like, what's he going to be like? Is he going to be okay with it? But actually, it was fine. I know how to deal with him before and after, I'd be up every weekend, and I know his mood patterns. <laughs> I know them, and I know how to deal with him. So it was actually fine. Um, you know, brought him down, and he's now settled out of Liverpool, out of all of that that he, that he asked for. Um, but then again, you could say, you know, he now doesn't realise why he's, he's down south. He doesn't know. And you can't really explain it to him again. He, he asked for it, yeah, but was he in the right mind to say that? Should we have kept him up north to be around the same accent? That is a whole other other topic. But basically, the, the continuing the theme of the story is that we moved him down south and he's, he's now there and he has a little bit of independence and he's cracking on with it. Um, and, you know, we're cracking on with it. Yes, he's now 45 minutes away from me instead of two and a half hours plus. Um, but, you know, I can't drive. Um, we don't have the bigger support system down south as we do up north, all of those things. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for video four. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet, and I'm actually trying to do a video at least. Um, but yeah, bless him. He and I care home for several months, and they're, they're rough. Um, but just make sure that you visit people. Make sure you know that the that you're around for them, even when they don't necessarily realise that you visited them recently or you didn't visit them recently, just be with their, be there with them when you can be. Um, but yeah, I'll do another video tomorrow. It might be different, it might be me out and about, not just necessarily with some kind of boring ass background, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, 
enjoy video for what it is um rushed and honest and yeah yeah enjoy